Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm back with another video and I'm sorry but it's not a monthly favourites video. Probably my first time ever, maybe my second time ever missing a monthly favourites video. But I just didn't have much to talk about this month. I've, as you know, been doing all house renovation stuff and I just haven't been like trying that many new products and just been using the same stuff really. So instead what I did is I did a mini monthly favourites video on IGTV, which has recently launched. I'm still kind of getting my head around it and deciding what I, how I feel about it really. Let me know what you guys think of IGTV, but it's a new kind of um, feature within Instagram where you can watch long form videos. So I think videos up to an hour, but I definitely won't be uploading videos longer than maybe like six, seven minutes. But I feel like it can be a place for more relaxed videos, basically like stories without all the breaks. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. But I'm definitely going to experiment more with the feature. For now, I've uploaded two videos and one of them was my June favourites. So if you want to see kind of five things that I've been loving this month, head over to my Instagram, which is at Lily Pebbles. So instead of my monthly favourites, I'm going to be talking today about what I wore this month, going through a few of my recent Instagram photos and kind of picking out the pieces that I wore in those photos and talking to you about it and why I have been loving it. This video was massively inspired by Alex from I Covet Thee. She did one recently and she is just killing it at all content at the moment. So head over and have a look at her channel. I will link it down below in the description box. Also a bit more housekeeping before I start because very exciting news, Anna and I have relaunched our podcast at home with finally on Wednesday, we released the trailer for the second season. It's been a long time coming. It's been over a year, but we really wanted to get it right. So we're finally ready to kind of release it. So the first episode is going to be launched this Wednesday early in the morning. So if you want to kind of keep up to date with the podcast that comes out every week on a Wednesday, go to iTunes or Acast and you can subscribe. And then it basically, it's a bit like YouTube. It just kind of comes into your subscription feed. It's completely free. And I think it's a really nice podcast to listen to. So let's get into this video. So first of all is this photo of me that Rich took when we went to Broadway Market. And I love this photo. He did such a good job. I really, really love the colors and just everything about this photo. But in this, I am wearing my ASOS skirt. Now, annoyingly, this has sold out. I do find that often by the time I show things to you guys, They've sold out online which is a bit annoying I know I'm really sorry but I will try and find some other options for you and I will link everything down below in the description box so just click show more and all the links will be in there but this is more just the idea of wearing a kind of longer skirt because I've never really managed to do so before without looking it just never flattered me but what I found is that if I find a skirt that goes high enough right up to my waist where I am my smallest rather than sitting down on my hips it looks really nice and this one from ASOS is a gorgeous like rusty orange color with small polka dots. I think small polka dots are really classy and I prefer them to like the larger ones. And it's got white buttons down the front that kind of stop um, at the thigh and then it's a split which I think looks really flattering because as you walk your leg kind of comes out from within the skirt. So I'm going to try my very best to find some other skirt options, ones with buttons, ones with slits. I will search the internet for you guys, so hopefully I would have found a few options. But I'll add the link for this as well if I still have it, just in case it comes back into stock, because you never know, ASOS sometimes do that. And I've just been really enjoying wearing this. I feel like it makes you look like you've made a real effort with your outfit, even though you've just thrown on a skirt and a vest top. In this photo, I'm also wearing these June sandals, which I've really been loving. They're definitely more of like a smarter sandal. I wouldn't wear them if I had a whole day of walking around, because they are quite hard. I've got like squishier, comfier sandals, but they don't rub at all. They're not uncomfortable. I don't buy uncomfortable shoes ever. That's like my rule. They're definitely a copy of the more designer sandal, but these are like 80 quid. I find June shoes really comfortable and they're just for the summer. So these are really nice. I don't have any other brown sandals. So these are a little bit different for my wardrobe and I just think they look very smart on. Okay, this next photo, which was taken on this cute little like alleyway off Charlotte Street that I love taking photos in all the time. I was actually wearing a really simple outfit, just jeans and a white top and my Gucci loafers. But what really kind of made the outfit um, was the accessories, this bag in particular. This bag is from a brand called, I think it's pronounced Mari. It's M-A-R-R-I and it's a small brand started by a girl called Cassie Jo who I've met and she's really, really lovely. She makes these incredible like handmade straw bags and they are a little bit pricey, but I think it's so nice to invest in these small brands that make their products by hand and it's really special. I love the bamboo handles, the yellow tassels, 
and then the straw bag is a really good shape um i take it with me when we go to record our podcast because my ipad fits in here if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i did have a bit of an issue where my hand all broke but i spoke to cassie and it turns out there was a small batch that just had like a fault and she changed mine for me and she made sure to follow up with all the customers that had the issue and change theirs as well. So I haven't had any trouble with it since. I probably still recommend not kind of overloading it just because it is more of a delicate bag, but I just think it's so cool. And although straw bags I think are usually used for the beach, I feel like this is a real like city straw bag and you can definitely get away with wearing it even if you're not going to the beach or to the pool. And I love it, it makes me so happy. It's such like a happy, bright bag. This next photo Anna took of me um, in central London outside Mortimer House and I'm wearing two items I wanna talk about. First of all, this denim skirt from Topshop. I think I got this earlier in the year but I have got so much wear out of it. I just think a good denim skirt is such a staple in your wardrobe. It kind of looks smart, but then it kind of keeps you cool in the warmer months. I really like it. This one's from Topshop. It's just part of their Moto range. I got mine in a 12. So I'm usually like a 10 to 12, but I got this in a 12. I remember trying on the 10 and just thinking that is way too tight. So the 12 fits perfectly for me and it's kind of ripped at the bottom, but not like really, really ripped. So I just love this with any sort of top tucked in. And I think with like my Gucci loafers, it smartens it up a bit, but you can wear it with sandals and it's so comfortable. And I feel more comfortable in it than like small shorts. And then I'm also wearing this bag, which I got a few months ago and it's no longer on the website, which is so annoying because I don't think I managed to actually tell you guys about it whilst it was still online, but it's from And Other Stories and I really like it. You know how everyone has those like round wicker, basket type bags at the moment like I really wanted one of those but I like that this gives a similar effect but it's different and not everyone has it it gives that sort of summer bag vibe because I found that my Gucci Soho disco bag the black leather one was just a bit like black for the winter I mean summer so this one is a perfect like summer alternative bag it's got a long strap that goes cross body and then it's this nice brown color and I love this effect on the front and then also what I like is there's two zips and they open really wide like they go all the way down the side which means that you can really like open up the bag wide and fit so much in here like i could fit my vlogging camera and my portable charger which is huge um i could fit so much in here and i've just really been enjoying wearing this bag like every day i posted a couple of photos with my new whistles dress thank you so much for all your nice comments i absolutely love this dress i wasn't gonna buy a new dress i really wasn't planning on it but sometimes that happens you're in a shop and you see something and you think i need to get that because it's just gonna be such a good item to have in my wardrobe and i already know i'm gonna get so much wear out of it i wore it to the gleam summer party and it was so comfortable so it's from whistles and it's this black wrap dress i think wrap dresses are really nice if you have slightly bigger boobs if you're maybe not the sort of person to like wearing figure hugging dresses and I think this is the sort of thing that will fit me forever because it's so easy to make it like bigger and smaller. It's got these short little like floaty sleeves which are very flattering and then it wraps around the boobs and then what I really like is it's long but it has this ruffle that opens so your leg can kind of peek out and I think that's what makes me look a little less frumpy in it because you can kind of stick your leg out and you don't look like you don't have legs under there, if that even makes sense. But I just love it, I love the fabric. It's like a really light cotton, it's perfect for the summer. And it's stretchy in all the right places. Like I keep seeing, look, there's like a stretchy bit on the shoulder, the waist is stretchy. I love it so much, such a good purchase. In this photo with that dress, I'm also wearing my Masoma necklaces, which I really need to actually find out how to pronounce this because I've heard people say Masoma. I've heard people say Mizuma, and then I heard someone else, when I went to Maria Tash recently, someone asked me if I was wearing necklaces from, and then the way they said it was unlike anything I've heard before. <laughs> so I need to ask the brand how you pronounce this. I feel like it's Mizuma, but I keep saying Mizuma by mistake. Anyway, you guys ask me all the time where my necklaces are from. I wear these almost every day. I'm not wearing them today because I'm wearing these earrings, which are also from Masuma. I will link those down below if they're still online. But these two as a duo, I love. They make me feel like I'm Lucy Williams. I know I never will be as cool as her, but I try. This one is the large horn necklace. I love the chain because it's got these little bobbles on it. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And then the large horn necklace, which I hang quite low. And then just above that, I hang this one, which is from the Roman collection. And I will link both of these down below. It's funny because when this collection first came out, I wasn't a massive fan of it, but then I just fell in love and now I think it's so nice. It sits, because it's flat, it sits really nicely on your chest. So absolutely loving those two necklaces I wear with 
every outfit pretty much. And then a couple of other things I wanted to add to this video that I'm not sure I've got photos of me wearing because I've been a little bit slack with outfit photos recently, but I really wanted to mention because I've been wearing them loads. And other stories, vest tops. I've been talking about them a lot. I think I even showed them in my last video. They're so great. I want them in every color. So I've got a couple of the ribbed ones. I will link them down below. I've got one in black and one in yellow. I really like these because they've got this kind of V on the front and V on the back and they're just really flattering. I got a size 36. They tuck in really nicely to jeans or denim skirts. They they hang, they're like a little bit heavy, so they hang nicely. So I've got one in black and one in yellow. Ooh, the sun is coming out and making me look like a ghost. The other one I have is this shape. So it goes up at the back and then a V at the front, which I also really like. And this is in a gray cotton with a white stripe. And then I have a baby pink one, which you saw in my last vlog, which I have lost already. It's somewhere in this house. Not sure. Loving those vest tops. And then the final thing that I wanted to talk about are these sunglasses. They are from Jimmy Fairley. I mentioned them in my little mini monthly favourites on IGTV. They've just opened a shop on Regent Street. It's a Parisian bat brand. Um, really, really nice sunglasses. And I picked up these, which are really cool. They've got like a slight cat eye. They're a bit different to what I usually wear. And I think they're very like... I always see people wearing like the Celine sunglasses and I always want them and I try them on and they're just too big for my face. So this is my version of the Celine sunglasses. They have makeup all over them. But I really like these. I'm obsessed with the case that they come in. I just think that's so nice. So yeah, I think that's the last item from this What I Wore in a Month video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you would like me to do these more often. Don't forget to go check out my video on IGTV and more importantly, go check out our podcast because I can't wait for the launch on Wednesday. Um, the first guest I don't think will surprise you, but it's a really nice one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.